Tom Selleck is an Emmy-winning actor and Hollywood icon. From his breakout role in the 80s hit show Magnum P.I. to playing the police commissioner on the hit drama Blue Bloods. Yeah, now he's taking us on a journey through his extraordinary life and career and his new memoir called You Never Know. Hi, we're so Hi. happy you're here. <laughs> Okay, so did you ever it's think... It's good to be here. <laughs> it was my new friend. We, yeah. like, we I like, like it. That. Yeah. Did you ever think, okay, I'm going to write a memoir? Does this feel like I a... didn't. I didn't. Um, I thought, you know, uh, I, I've had, uh, obviously, a, an interesting life, but I, I didn't have the kind of trauma or mm -hmm. uh, newsworthy events that I had to recover from, and I didn't have those kind of hooks. So it took a while, and... Uh, I just uh, felt I had something to share, mm -hmm. like 50 plus years of work. Mm -hmm. So I just tried to find the interesting things in it. I think if you're talking about yourself, you, you have an obligation to entertain people first. Yeah. Um, then maybe you've earned the right to say a few things mm -hmm. well, that are serious. I love the title. You never know. Like, yeah. why, why that title? How does that apply to your life? Well, you never know. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> I had an accidental career. Mm. I mean, I, I was at USC studying business and uh, playing basketball, or I, I should say riding the bench <laughs> on the basketball team. And uh, I think it, uh, it, a lot of things happened that, uh, that I was very fortunate about. I, you know, I grew up in the city were the businesses. Mm. I did a, a dating game and something else and somebody saw me and one of the studios had a talent program and uh, um, I fooled them because <laughs> I had never studied acting in my life or thought about it or wanted to. So, and I got signed to a, a contract there. You know, it's, I love the term accidental career because mm -hmm. I feel yeah. like sometimes when you're not planning for things, yeah. it's when you find yourself at Peace and mm -hmm. and I, yeah. uh, you were sort of like an early Oprah manifester. <laughs> you had a mantra that you would say that was just basically, "I'm good enough." Yeah, yeah. I think that came about over time. It's kind of a confession I made with the reader that I think it came more often when I started getting up for leads. Yeah, and you'd look at a script and you go, "Well, <sighs> Cary Grant should do that," yeah. or John Wayne. Mm -hmm. So I had to kind of um, say, you're good enough. Mm -hmm. You can find a way, your own way, because you can't do it their way. Yeah. And don't, don't try. And it was, uh, it was good for my confidence. Mm -hmm. And the more confident I got, the more I risked. And the more I risked, the more jobs I got. Well, Magnum P.I. was such a home run. Thank I mean, you. A lot of people, when they look at you, that's the first thing they think of. And you were, I mean, obviously you were famous in all the circles, but it's funny how then you didn't realize what a big deal this show was because of where you were at well, the time. Well, yeah, I was in Hawaii. And uh, in 1980, when Magnum yeah. started, there wasn't even one entertainment show. Yeah. News media didn't have the, the budgets to come over to Hawaii. So I was a little removed. I just had no idea just how successful Magnum was till I went to the mainland. Wow. One of the things that we learned in this mm -hmm. book is that you were offered the role for Indiana Jones. I was offered the role and wanted it, but I had done a pilot of Magnum. Oh. And Steven Spielberg and George Lucas kept the offer out to me. They said, we'll work it out and you can do both. Oh, wow. Wow. And uh, the more they wanted me, the more CBS said, no, we don't want to let them do it. Oh. Yeah. So ultimately, they stepped in, and uh, um, it wasn't exactly a cross to bear. I mean, when I signed the deal for Magnum, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. Yes. And it certainly wasn't a consolation prize. It was a pretty good deal. Yeah. But I, I, So I was kind of able to stay philosophic about it. And I always I say I had something to put in my hip pocket mm -hmm. that uh, Stephen and George wanted me, yeah. wow. that I was enough. Wow, it's full amazing. circle. Yes. I was enough. That's when I it know. Came. Don't you love that? This book has got so many great anecdotes, things people obviously didn't know about you. Cute pictures of you when you're a baby, too, I gotta say. <laughs> yeah. So we look forward to sharing this book with everybody, yeah. Tom. Thank oh, you thanks. so much. And you can check out Tom's memoir, You Never Know, at today.com slash books or wherever you buy your books.